Today we're going to unbox the eGel Imager, a small benchtop gel documentation system that has many of the features and benefits of the larger, more expensive systems. So let's take a look at what we get in the box. It's a big box for a small camera hood. There's a USB cable, power cord, and various uh, plug adapters for use in various countries. What I have here is the software package that comes with the system. There's actually two pieces of software. One is the image acquisition software, which takes the images, and the second is the image analysis software that allows you to quantitate individual bands in your gel. So I have two disks here. Here is the gel capture software, here is the gel quantitation software, and here's a dongle um, that gives you, that is the key that um, allows you to use the quantitation software. So let's take a closer look at the camera hood. We have the iris control here, the focus control, and then you have an adapter, which is good for most gels, um, but we also sell separate um, filters for specialty gels like certain fluorescent stains or with Q dots. On the back here, um, this is where your power cable will go in, and this is where the USB cable will go in. So let's plug this thing in. So I plug the power cable into a wall socket. I'm going to connect that here. And now I'm going to use the USB cable and uh, put that in there. And this will go into my laptop. Now you have a choice of three bases with the eGel Imager system. You can either use a UV light base, you can use a blue light base, or you can use an eGel adapter base. So what I have here today is the blue light base. So let's open this box. Inside, I have a QRC, which again tells you what's included. Um, it tells you how to use it. Very simple instructions with lots of good pictures. And finally, information on reordering. This is the blue light base. Also included inside that box was this little box, and in it you have the uh, power cable uh, with the choice of many different plug adapters, again, for use in different countries. Let's take a closer look at the blue light box um, that comes with the eGel imager. So we have the main power switch in the front here. And um, the power cord that you will use uh, will depend on what kind of gel you have. You might be using um, one of our eGels, uh, running it in the eGel iBase. See, I have the diffuser here that gives you really good quality images. Um, you would plug this little short cord that is in the base. You would put that at the back of the iBase and then actually use the power cord that comes with the eye base in the back here. If, however, uh, you've made your own gel or you've run an e-gel separately, then you would simply place the gel on top and then use the power cord that came with the e-gel imager and plug that into the back here and this will go into a wall socket. So now let's see what it's like to take a picture. So you put your gel on the base, you put your hood on top, you turn on the power switch on the base like that, and then a second power switch here on the camera hood, and that's it. And I'm going to walk over to my computer and use the image capture software to take a picture. This is the image capture software, and here's the gel. And um, you can actually use the controls here, just like on the camera hood, for the focus and the iris. You can play with the exposure setting. You can look at sensitivity. You can play with the brightness um, and uh, make other you know, edits to the image. You can take multiple acquisitions. Um, and ultimately, you can save the image, print it, or export it. 
Um, this button here, the analysis, allows you to get into the uh, analysis software. And that's it.